Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer here on this 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Uh, to be candid and transparent, <laughs> this is my third attempt to record this uh, Godcast. I've uh, been having some technical issues with my computer, um, something about storage space, and uh, I don't really get how all of that works, but uh, with a little help from some friends and a little persistence on my part, I think and I hope that I've cleared it up. Uh, the other two attempts to uh, record were cut short by uh, uh, a, a lack of uh, storage space. Uh, so anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, We'll see if we can get through uh, this this uh, attempt successfully. I pray we do. Uh, anyway, our readings this weekend for this Sunday, the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time, in Cycle B, which is Mark. Uh, in all in our readings, we we are kind of looking at the Good Shepherd. In the Old Testament reading. We hear mention of uh, shepherding and good shepherding versus uh, bad shepherding and a warning against those people who would pose as shepherds. And, uh, you know, that old expression, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, you know, that's kind of uh, the root of, of that sentiment where we have to guard ourselves against uh, uh, untruth and uh, false uh, leaders and uh, that's always been true and it always will be true at least here during this time uh, once once we reach our homeland the promised land then there will be no need for uh, us to worry about anything let alone uh, bad shepherding uh, so our, you know, our, our first reading warns uh, people that are drawing people away from God's teachings. And then in our psalm today, now I've heard this psalm a couple times this weekend because this weekend uh, we had a, a beautiful funeral mass uh, for someone at the parish, uh, Jamie Felix. And uh, this psalm was used for the funeral mass and it's used for a lot of funeral masses perhaps you've heard of it psalm 23 where it says the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want that was the psalm that we heard at the sunday mass today and so it is the lord is my shepherd there's nothing i shall want and you could look through that whole Psalm 23 and just see the beauty and the peace and the trust involved with that Psalm. That uh, when we follow the Lord, when we allow him to be our shepherd, we have nothing to fear. We have nothing to worry about because we know that we're in a good shepherd's care and with a good shepherd's care and with us following like good children obedient children people of his flock then uh, he's got us and uh, nothing can separate us from our shepherd our gospel today we even see Jesus shepherding his apostles it's quite nice. Uh, you know, we heard last week and during the week, Jesus sending out the 12, sending them out with authority to cure the sick, raise the dead, preach repentance, teach the people the good news. And then today, they've returned from their adventures and they're regaling each other and Jesus with all of their stories, the, everything that they've accomplished and done and perhaps and i'm sure too some of the struggles and 
and failures they might have had along the way. And Jesus is looking at all this and seeing all this and realizing that these guys have done a great job. And now they need a little rest. They need a retreat. They need some time to replenish their spirit and to strengthen themselves for their next adventure, their next assignment, their next mission. And so he says, come, let us go off to a deserted place and rest. Well, of course, they get in a boat, as we hear in the gospel today, and they are traveling to a deserted place, or so they hope. But the people, the rest of the sheep that are clamoring and hungering for Jesus and his apostles to, to feed them and to lead them, they get wind of his departure. They have an inkling as to where he might be going, and they rush there, and they get there ahead of them. And when Jesus and his apostles disembark, he sees the large number of people there, and he is moved with pity for them. He has empathy for them. And he says they're like sheep without a shepherd. And he begins to teach them many things, it says in the gospel today. Our life is like that too. We need Jesus always, every day, not just once in a while. We need him constantly in our lives. We, we rely on on our Lord always to lead us and to feed us and to keep us on track. Without him, we're soon to get lost. So we pray today on this 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time that we always recognize the voice of our shepherd, the Good Shepherd, and we listen to his voice, we follow his voice, wherever it may lead us, and trust that he will protect us and keep us safe in his love, safe in his grace, safe in his mercy. So let us pray our evening prayer, shall we, in thanksgiving for our Good Shepherd. May we always, always, always depend on our Lord to shepherd us, his flock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In eternal splendor before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right. Your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. In eternal splendor before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you, Alleluia. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for holiness, 
they will be satisfied. Happy the man who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. He has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Open-handed he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. The wicked man sees and is angry, grinds his teeth, and fades away. The desire of the wicked leads to doom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you are the eternal light which illumines the hearts of good people. Help us to love you, to rejoice in your glory, and so to live in this world as to avoid harsh judgment in the next. May we come to see the light of your countenance. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for holiness. They will be satisfied. Praise God, all you who serve him, both great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia, sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is king. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise God, all you who serve him, both great and small. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. You have drawn near to Mount Zion, and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to myriads of angels in festal gathering, to the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, to God the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood, which speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. Our Lord is great, mighty is his power. Our Lord is great, mighty is his power. His wisdom is beyond compare, mighty is his power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Lord is great, mighty is his power. Mary has chosen the better part, and it shall not be taken from her. My soul proclaims, the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary has chosen the better part, 
and it shall not be taken from her. Rejoicing in the Lord, from whom all good things come, let us pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Father and Lord of all, you sent your Son into the world, that your name might be glorified in every place. Strengthen the witness of your church among the nations. Lord, hear our prayer. Make us obedient to the teachings of your apostles and bound to the truth of our faith. Lord, hear our prayer. As you love the innocent, render justice to those who were wronged. Lord, hear our prayer. Free those in bondage and give sight to the blind. Raise up the fallen and protect the stranger. Lord, hear our prayer. Fulfill your promise to those who already sleep in your peace. Through your Son, grant them a blessed resurrection. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, be merciful to your people. Fill us with your gifts, and make us always eager to serve you in faith, hope, and love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, it looks as though we've made it through our recording, so uh, let's hope for the best, and uh, maybe we can do it again tomorrow. What do you say? Uh, have a great Sunday night, and we'll face Monday together uh, tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>